right so this is my mining rig as you can see um efficient cards 5600s and it's 40.5 for the sapphire cards um i have two sapphire i have two aces cards and the rest of them are sapphire but if you can see this is a msi it says msi on them this doesn't say sapphire what i had to do was change the bios of these cards uh, into a msi bios in order to achieve the hash rate i have here um, as you can see in the asus i haven't changed the bios but i'm going to leave it like that the reason why is because of the efficiency although the asus are getting 38 mega hash right instead of 40 it's only half the price if you can see right here this is 67 watts 68 watts they are very very efficient on what to mine you have 110 watts for the 5600s right but when i saw 67 and 68 i thought you know what? it's best i leave it alone these are the overclocks <clears throat> As you can see, they all are the same overclock, even though I tested each one of them every time it does a reboot. For some reason, it gives them all the same clocks, but they hash whatever I made from the last um, overclocks that I did. So let's say, for example, I did a overclock for this particular one and it's slightly different to this one. By the time I reboot it, it will say the same thing again, but the hash rate would be exactly the same as what I left it on. Hence why I don't mess around with it. Now, this is the second rig. So the 5600 was my first rig. This is the second rig and this rig. <clears throat> Consists of a 3060 LHR card, which is this one here. As you can see, it says 34 mega hash, which is around about, I don't even want to say 70%. I'll just say eh, around about 60 something percent um, to what it's supposed to be making. Um, and it would drop to 28 let me see if I can do that right now. So when the LHR kicks in, it will drop to 28, maybe even 22 sometimes. Um, there you go. Look, 28, 28.7. Right. When it drops to 28.7, that's when the light hash rate is kicking in. Right. And then after a while, it should go back up. One second. Ooh, 0.72. Let's see if we can refresh again. 29 let's see if we can refresh again there you go 34 so what it does is it bounces up and down between 28 and 34 as you just see now <clears throat> the vega 56 that i have here is supposed to be 49 mega hash but it's 44 at 174 watts it's supposed to be 49 mega hash at 170 watts but i'm finding it difficult to clock this because this card i actually had to take it to someone to do the bios from scratch okay these two straight out the box gave me 649.59 or 60 um and i this these these are also the overclock settings for that all right as you can see i haven't done any actual clocking but it's reading more than what to mine for exact, well, for around about the same wattage. So I'm quite happy with that. And if it's not broke, I come from that era where you don't tinkle with it, you don't fix it, nothing. You just leave it as it is. I also have the 1080 Ti. Now, this 1080 Ti, it's supposed to be 39 mega hash. I'm getting 42.88. Is Well, I'm using... 208 um or should i say 209 watts but i haven't actually pushed the clock much further than what a lot of people push the clock to be um 
Ah, I forgot to show you. Right, so the 5600 that I did. Uh, no, not the 5600. The Vega 56, this one right here that I did. If you can see, you can see some sort of settings on here, right? What I had to do, I had to do the flash BIOS. So when I did the flash BIOS, um, I, and when I say flash BIOS, I had to take it to someone to flash the actual BIOS on the physical card. After doing that, once I brought it home, um, I, it registered at 32 mega hash. And what I had to do is find a tweak. That is the AMD tweak. So if you need a tweak, this is for a gigabyte Vega 56. If you're looking for an AMD tweak, that is it right there. Okay, that those are the figures right there for your AMD tweak. And this is the one that works for me. It's a Samsung memory gigabyte card, Vega 56, right? This took me a week and a half to find. So this here is gold for you, all right? Make sure you guys write that down and try it. The wonderful thing about a Hive OS is the accessibility that you have for the software remotely okay so every time you see green and it's green that's a transaction being completed or accepted and money's being paid as you can see it's 220 mega hash right the rejected and invalid shares are none oh jeez Right, you can see it detecting the LHR. Sorry, I keep that's the LHR has been detected right there. The rejected shares, the invalid shares are none, as you can see. Runtime, uptime. Right, look. So every time you see green, it's positive. I'm running it on a hive, uh, hive on pool. One second. Right, so that's how that's going. And you see when the hell HR kicks in, it'll drop to as low as a 212, actually, not 213. Keep an eye on this for a second, you see. Every time you see green, it's completing a transaction and the coins are being rewarded. This is the 5600 rig. As you can see, all the, the settings are here. <clears throat> the hash rates are there and no rejected shares. Once again, uh, you can see the transactions are coming in much quicker. It's 279.3, sometimes it displays 280. Tells you the running time, everything on the screen. So, all together, as you can see, it's 500 mega hash uh, on ETH, ETH hash for Ethereum. And I've got, uh, well, almost 4,000 kilo hash for random X to get Solana. Okay, so there are two rigs right now. Uh, there isn't any payment that I'm making. All right, it's actually free because I'm running it off Hive OS. Uh, and I'm using a Hive on pool. If you do use Hive OS and you change the pool, there are subjects, there are uh, payments that you may have to make. Um, even if you run it on Hive, uh, on Hive OS's uh, own pool, the Hive on pool, if you have more than two or three rigs, you start to pay. But this is I'm 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 going for it. So right. So as you can see, I have two farms. One that has nothing. I'm I've just set this up to get it ready, um, and another farm here 
um, with 12 GPUs that you have just seen. One is face and the other is the general. Because I'm face the general underscore TV on Instagram. I'm just keeping the theme going. Right? So that's basically my overclock settings, my farm. Um, and what I'm doing currently on Ethereum. So for those of you who have 5600, 6700, 1080 Ti. Vega 56 and a 3060 LHR. I hope this is a helpful video for you. All right. You take a case of now.